Hello and welcome to the first session on introduction to PLC. So what is PLC? PLC is a programmable logic controller which is a processor driven device that uses logic based software to provide electrical control to machine. Now where this technology PLC has come from? So the first programmable logic controller was developed by a group of engineers at General Motors in 1968 when the company were looking for an alternative to replace complex relay control systems. Now what this PLC does? How it works? What is the definition of the PLC? So a digitally operating electronic system designed for use in an industrial environment which uses programmable memory for the internal storage of user oriented instruction in terms of program for implementing specific functions such as logic, sequencing, timing, counting and arithmetic to control through digital or analog inputs and outputs and various types of machines or processes. Now what is the advantage of PLC over relay logic? Why we have shifted? So one is simple programming very simple programming languages second one like program changes without system intervention means in relay logic you have to change the wiring if you want to change the input from here to there but here you don't have to rewire so no internal rewiring it is a smaller cheaper and more reliable than corresponding relay control systems and last but not least is a simple and low cost maintenance now what is the architecture of the PLC if you can see in the presentation you can see there is an input module there will be output module and in between there is a central processing unit it's called a CPU the architecture is very similar to the computer here you can program this PLC with the help of programming device like computer or laptops and you will need some external power supply to just power on the device now how how it scans, how it uh, react with the inputs. So during each operating cycle, it is called a scan cycle, the processor reads all the inputs, takes these values and energizes or de-energizes the outputs according to the user program. This process is known as a scan. Because the input can change at any time, the PSC must carry on this process continuously. It means it has to scan every time whether the input is there or not. Now you can see with the help of this diagram that if suppose we have given a switch as an input and we have given a bulb as an output so once the switch is pressed it will see at the program that once the switch is pressed what to be done and if it is written that if switch is pressed then you have to turn on the bulb it will just turn on the bulb in the next scan cycle. Now this is the same thing written over here as a logic like suppose if here this is a ladder logic this is an no contact and this is the output so once it is written over here then once the switch is pressed you have to turn on the bulb so this is done by this program so when the input is closed the input module senses a voltage and on condition 1 is entered into the input table now during the scan cycle the program it will do the task as per the written program and in the next scan cycle it will turn on the output device as a which is bulb now what are the inputs and outputs of the PLC so it can be anything like switches like micro switches or limit switches it can be proximity sensor like inductive proxy sensors or capacitive proximity sensor it can be rotary encoder as a rotation sensor it can be temperature sensor, RTD, thermistor and what are the output of the PLC? in output you can connect like you can turn on the contactor you can turn on the motors you can even give the pulses to the stepper motors or servo motors various input and output devices what are the languages? It means how you can program the PLC? what are the programming languages? The term PLC programming language refers to the method by which the user communicates information to the PLC. 
These are called IC 61131 approved programming languages which are uh, listed below like ladder diagram language, it's a boolean language, it can be sen sequential functional chart, functional block diagram, instruction list, etc. Now, next lecture will be on introduction to PLC programming. Thank you and have a nice day.